Hi, welcome to HLS Show Me How, OneDrive Files to Teams. I am your host today, Michael Giannotti, and I am an HLS technology specialist. So I received a question from a customer today and they asked, they said, Mike, how can we go ahead and can I take files that are in OneDrive and add them to my Microsoft team so that I don't have to go back and forth. I want to make those available to my team members. So let's go ahead and take a look at exactly how we would go about doing this. All right, so to make this simple, I created a Teams Integrate Demo folder. And if you go over here and we click and open that, you'll notice that I have here a couple of just demo documents. We can go back. And the idea is that we actually want to add that here into our Thursday demo team. So I've got a demo area. This is left over from Thursday. So we're going to leverage that. And we want to put the files, make the files here rather than, um, you know, have to go back and forth because that folder could have a lot of files. So to go ahead and do so, I'm going to go ahead. Whoops, that's not what we wanted here. And let's come back to our area and if we scroll on down let's do that there we go there's our teams integrate demo we're going to click show actions and one of the actions or actually two of them you'll see is move to or copy to if i move to it's going to take this whole folder and move it there it means nothing's left in my OneDrive. in this case i'm going to copy to because i want to keep my original documents here Again, this could be a very large folder, um, so we're not limited to that. I'm going to go ahead and select Copy to, and then it shows and it says, hey, where's the destination? Is it somewhere in my OneDrive? No. We've got some uh, high-level sites that it shows. I'm going to say Browse Sites because, remember, underneath our team is a site. And if I start looking down through different ones, there is my thursday demo team that we were just in i can select that if i didn't see it i could say show more i'm going to go ahead and select that and the last thing it's going to ask me is which channel so the top level was this general channel and we can say you know choose a destination a new folder and we'll call this one my uh, onedrive mike's onedrive Mike's OneDrive, and I'll go ahead and say copy to here. Copying, and it's taking this folder, copying that over. So we're waiting on that. It says it's copied that. So then let's go ahead back to our Teams view. And if we go ahead, let's come on out back, and then we'll refresh. Well, back here, there we go. There's that new folder, Teams Integrate Demo, has been brought over. And if I click on that, you can see all the files that came out of that folder. So quick and easy. Again, if we come on back here, we simply come to select. Then we're going to pick the actions, say copy to. Browse sites. It's going to then open up the sites available. If we don't see it in our following, we can click show more and it'll show all of them. Select the site, select the area, give it a folder, and that's it. Quick, easy, and done. So that's it for today's show me how, quick and easy. If you have questions for Microsoft around things that we can do within the healthcare and life sciences space, feel free to find us at our blog at https colon whack whack aka.ms slash HLS blog. You can post questions there. You can post them to our community. We'd love to hear from you. Um, and as we receive questions from our customers, we'll put them out. So thank you very much. Again, I want to thank you for joining me today. Have a great day and take care. And as always, ciao.